Hi, Russ here. Welcome back to the MT and Me. In our last video, we took you on a tour of our new old motorhome. Well, later that same day, we got started clearing out the interior. It should just sit on there. Get the pole off of it, guys. It won't fit through the door. Yeah. Huh. Here, you can take that bit. We got the pole off of it. I see you. Aha. Nice improvised yeah. entry. Hey. There. Do you know how long it's been since I've seen one of these? I can't see what that is. It looks like a clothespin, but colorful. But televisions used to have two terminals on the back for you the antenna and see that would clamp on the antenna right there like that those two wires two, two screws and see you've got a connection here each side is the connection and then you got your two wires that go to the antenna <laughs> why is it so colorful it looks like it came off the sesame street well with the table out of the way sean and i could get to work removing some of the upholstery which was quite stagnant from being closed up for quite a few years. So we pulled the cushions, went about getting the uh, curtains down. They were fastened top and bottom. That was another mobile traveler feature so their curtains didn't flop around as you traveled. You know, that's nice for traveling, but it did make them uh, a bit of a challenge to get out, actually. They were in rather securely, but we managed. Then it was time to uh, continue to looking at the uh, the seating area, maybe to find out what was under there. Oops, those cushions didn't come off. However, the wood panels did underneath the center part. That's where the propane tanks are on the outside. Sean lifts up the other one. That's the heater for the cabin. And as we look under the other one, it has, buried under a lot of extra stuff, the fresh water tank. That's a crank. Yeah. Uh, uh, Show the label for the camera. It says That's for the, uh, uh, the antenna. The antenna. Yeah. Oh, I got a V-belt. Which means it goes right there. It goes right there, yeah. Did you notice that feature? It raises and lowers the antenna on the roof. Uh-oh. Uh but the real fun of the day was getting that big mattress out of the cab over area.
excursion inside. Success. Here's all this. We pulled out. Watch your language. <laughs> well, after lunch, it was back to work in the overhead area. And with that mattress gone, and after we folded back the uh, cover area that held the bed in place, we started to see just exactly how much room there was in the cab over space. You can't spin around you can't yet. Can't spin around. Patrick's in the way. Yeah. Spread my arms out. This thing is. I don't know. It's a good eight feet wide. Yeah. Well, we went to work removing carpeting. That 70s shag carpet had covered everything in the over cab area. It came off the top and the sides fairly easy, but we went to pulling it off the bottom and discovered that uh, the carpet was wet, the wood underneath it was wet. It was just a soggy, sticky mess, and it took a lot of time to pull it away. We actually filmed a segment describing just how soggy and messy it was. Unfortunately, I had my hand over the microphone all through it, so it ended up sounding like this. Note to self, keep your hand off the microphone whenever you're holding the camera. Anyway, once I managed to get the privacy curtain rod down, that let us get the last of the carpeting off of the roof of the cab over area. And we made Sean stop pulling carpeting because we were going to have to do some deconstruction in order to get the rest. Alright, I think we'll stop there for today. Uh, we're actually trying to cut this video a little short because we think our videos have been running a little bit long, so we're trying to get the time down on them, so make it easier for you to watch, easier for us to produce too. But we are working on some future videos. Um, we've uh, got one coming up about cleaning the outside. Let me tell you, getting all that lichen off is really a lot of fun. So you can look forward to that. Uh, we also have a video coming up about how this MT fills our uh, wish list that we shared with you in an earlier video. And uh, oh yeah, we are working on that tire that I keep talking about. We'll do a video showing you what we've done so far. So you got all that to look forward to, okay? Till then, comment on this one, like, subscribe, share. I'm Russ, Reese behind the camera, and we'll talk later.